This is Diana and welcome to Crafted Sweetly. In this video I will show you how to do a cut and fold book folding. So for this design um, I'm going to do just a cut and fold. So um, I don't plan on doing the 180 fold which is um, you've seen me do in some of the other videos. Um, and if you want to check out some of the other book folding videos I do have links below um, in the description. Um, but this is just a cut and fold. So for this, I'm just going to mark the pages um, and then cut the markings and fold. Okay, so I will mark these pages. And then what you'll notice with the cut and fold, um, especially with a pattern like this, um, there will be a lot of cuts because the design has to be created. There's a lot of design work here. Um, so we'll, there's gonna be a lot of numbers basically to mark off. So if you look at some of these, the way this pattern looks, um, for example, you know, on page 95, I've got almost 20 markings that I have to do just on one page um, in order to make the cuts to create the image. So um, I'm going to mark all these as I do in the previous um, videos. Um, just go and use the ruler and then mark everything with it. For this book, before I um, actually do the cutting, um, you can certainly mark it, but before I do the cutting, I plan on using this Pergamano um, special gold ink to color the edge of the book. Um, I'm using a blending brush, which is really soft, and it picks up the ink really well. Um, I wouldn't use a big brush for this project. Um, I did get a set that has different sizes, but it's a liquid gold um, and you just have to shake it really well. And again, this is used for a different kind of art. It's called Pergamano, um, but it's a liquid gold that I plan on adding to the edge of the book to give it a nice finish. Now you can find some books that are already colored gold on the edge of the page. Um, this one was not. And I thought once I'm done with the book, this is going to add some interest to the color. Now, when you apply this ink, just make sure that you, or any other ink that you may be using, make sure you press the book really tight so that the ink doesn't run down into the pages. Now, if you get some on the cover, that's fine. Um, I'm eventually going to co cover the cover of the book, so it won't matter that I get some on the edges um, of the hardcover itself. But I do want to color all the pages right all the way into the corner and just color all the way around the top the bottom and then the sides um, and you may have to go over it a couple of times if it looks like it didn't pick up well um, then now this will take a little bit of time to dry this pergamano ink does come in different colors so you can use different um, tints to it you you know red um, darker gray but whatever color you want um, I chose the gold just because it gives it a nice classy look mark your book according to the pattern and then we will fold this um, what's called as an any um, because we're going to create the image the dark portion of it will be inwards in the pattern um, so this is how the design comes out with folding it as an any. There is also an Audi. Uh, but with an any, um, the first section of the fold stays out and then the next is in and then out. So you're alternating. Now you could leave the design as is, um, but I think it's a little hard to see the pattern um, and coloring. The design will really bring out the pattern and the image. So I definitely recommend this. As I mentioned, I will be coloring the portion like the, where the head is, for example. So the part that's on that's been folded and I'm using a Sharpie marker. Um, for this, we will need to do it on both sides since it's already folded. Um, and it's the folded portion of it so the marker will not go all the way through generally i will use a 
some kind of a paper or cardboard um, cardstock in between each page as I color the folds just to make sure that I don't color any additional pages. Now as we are coloring the folded tabs, it's the portion where the head is. Um, that's the part that's going to become. So this, you know, I did one page right there. This is the portion that will get completely colored black. Once you have colored all of the tabs, you will see that the image is absolutely awesome. Now it definitely stands out more than before. Um, what I love about this is that the image is so sharp, you can see the very tiny cuts that you have to create to make this image. And even for like the Gene Simmons, um, you know, as long as you're accurate with your measuring, you can even see that there's the little line on his tongue that's, you know, visible in the cut. So you just need to be super accurate when you're um, measuring this and using an INCRA ruler which I did a review on, um, it was really good. And then here's how you can see the, the gold is, you know, visible against the black. And all I did was just cover the book and add a ribbon. And there is your finished project. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comment below and I'll get to all of your questions. Uh, but this is a really fun way to fold a book. Thanks so much and see you next time.